Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how Aquarius is coming into the reading. Okay, Aquarius, cards falling out. All right, so, so you're concerned about career aspirations, bringing something into fruition. You're really acting in a mature manner and trying to get things done. You're not focused really on love right now with the mature woman. You're more so focused on material gain. Again, career aspirations. You know that something is going to be a journey and, and you're excited about it. Some of you could be traveling for work or you have to scout is what I'm hearing. Or you travel around or you drive around or you drive a long distance for work. Maybe you want to cut that out. Um, also, you know that something is arriving to you. OK, you may travel for uh, a business opportunity. OK, That's also there. You know that something's coming into you. How is Aquarius? Clarify how Aquarius is coming. Yeah. False person. So. This could be somebody coming back to you, Aquarius. That someone left out in the cold. Someone that you stopped communicating with. They could be showing back up. You know, out of the blue. And wanting to change your mind really quickly. Maybe even love bombing you. Because they see you in a real fortunate position. Yep. So it's like somebody's coming back. They have ulterior motive. They're not letting you in on what it is they want. Um, they're acting. They're masquerading. Because she's got on that like masquerade ball. She's got that mask. And he's got the, you know, the eye mask. You have the eye mask there. So it's like... I don't know. It's like somebody's coming in and acting. You know, they're acting like... And this could even be romantic. This could be friends. It could be family. I knew it. Because they all of a sudden see that you have some level of wealth. You stepped into your power. I mean, you manifested a lot of wealth. A lot of fortune. A lot of abundance. You're on the right path. So it's like somebody wants to come back. They, I don't know if this person could feel the vibration that you were... You don't want to something good. And they just want to uh, resurface. What is the advice for? Well, how does this person feel about Aquarius? Or, or these people? It could be a group of people. How does this person feel about Aquarius? I knew it was a group of people. I knew it was coming out. So it's like you can have a lot of people, community, people in your community um, reaching out to you. So they want to know what you're up to, how you're doing it. How this happened for you. Yeah. Um, expectations. So they've been waiting and keeping their distance. Now they want to talk to you. They want to be a part of your life. They want to be a part of what you're bringing into fruition. If they see that you have a large sum of money, they now want a piece of it. Or they're going to work with you. Or they want you to show you. They want you to show them how you you did or you got or where you get it from. Or This person wants to be a part of your life. Yeah. Imprisonment. So they're kind of like stuck here in a, in a bad place, you know, ruminating thoughts about what you're doing and how you're doing it. This person does, they've been talking to people about what you're on to or what you're up to. This person is stuck in a place, in a bad place. And it's almost like they want you to rescue them. Come and rescue them. Yeah. Yeah. They could even want to, like, yeah, partner with you, whomever this is. They want the connection back. They want to create something with you. They want the friendship back, the ro romantic connection back, or just the relationship altogether. They want it to be a happy, harmonious connection. But it says that maybe it's a lot of work. And some of you are just going to be kind of married to your occupation, to your work, to whatever it is you are trying to do. Yeah, something is a lot of work, but you're committed. Yeah, you definitely are committed with the lovers coming up because you're trying to bring your dreams into fruition. Some of you are going to be very wealthy. This is one of your aspirations. 
And for some of you, it just wasn't one of the aspirations, but you will be wealthy. There's an end to poverty. Oh my God, I couldn't make it up. It, it came out as coffin. You know, the coffin is an end and then poverty. So it was like an end to poverty for some of you. Um, and once this end happens for you, do expect, an, well, I guess you can expect it now, but it will be an unexpected message that comes to you. You know, even if this could sometimes represent an apology. Yeah, a good news message that comes to you from somebody that maybe you left out in the cold that doesn't have enough or doesn't want to be left out anymore. You can't trust this person though. They're out for something. It's like they're trying to make some fast change from one dynamic to the next, from one house to the next. If you let them back in your home, your relationship, your, I mean, your life, they're coming from one relationship to the next. Yeah. They're in despair and they see you fortunate. All right, so let's see what is the um, Tarot has to say. So you're in a, a place where you're getting a lot of downloads, a lot of information from the spiritual realm. You've also shifted some aspect of your personality. Like you've grown, you've gotten to a place of emotional balance and stability. It's like you know which emotion to draw from. You're not all over the place. You know, um, you're not taken aback by anything. You're not up in arms. You just kind of know how to deal. Yeah, judgment here. It's like this is a cleansing of the soul before you go to the next level, before the universe takes you to you know, opening up another world to you, another way of existing. It's just like forgiving yourself, absolving yourself, relinquishing all of the, the hurt, the pain, the regret, the shame. Um, it's like you're really doing some healing work or the uh, spirit is trying to work with you to do healing work too, to forgive. None of the cards should be in reverse, but this one is Page of Cups in reverse. On the flip side, you could be coming out of this very dream or dreamy like state where you're not taking any action, but you've got all these dreams. So you're coming out of that. You could be taking action. Um, business matters here. Good news about business matters. It could be delayed. Okay. It's something about the right place, not finding the right place. I don't know. If you're into beauty, fashion, or cosmetics, um, this is going to bring you, it could be working from home, or you're just planning in secret here. Yeah, planning in secret. You might be at a kind of an impasse. Now, this could also be love, too. Some of you just don't look at some relationship with somebody you don't look at it in the best light. You feel like this is a test. You know, you're not sure if you should allow this person to come back. If it's gonna be more strife, uh, a struggle, drama, a strain on your energy. Are you gonna be fighting for this person's devotion? Um, you don't know if it's best to kind of um, just do nothing. That's what the high priestess is. Some of you are going to be like salon, spa, shop owners, or this is what you're aspiring to be. It's a lot. You know, it's a lot to get that together. It's a lot of moving parts, but it looks like you've got it. You can do it. Focus on negotiation. Focus on planning, pre-planning, and then planning some more. And then execution execution the night of swords be focused tunnel vision on getting things done yeah eight of pentacles and the star you're gonna get a wish fulfilled hopes dreams wishes being fulfilled you're gonna be the center of something the face of or the brand of something you've worked really hard at this you've worked really hard at um maybe learning how to again relinquish relinquish uh 
you work really hard at accepting yourself and letting stuff go, letting it come and letting it go. It didn't work out. And now you're at a place of just, you know, you're at a place of accepting, you know, accepting yourself completely and other people. You're having more compassion for situations and people. Yeah. Maybe you didn't. You were harsh. You judged harshly, whether you thought you did or you didn't. Excuse me. It says be prudent with your money, where you put your time, your money. Again, look at this girl. She's planning, going over plans, you know, just working really hard. Some of you are doing that. This is the, the beginning of entrepreneurship. We have to work really hard. So the cards are telling you, look, yeah, you can start this thing, but if you think it's just going to be easy breezy, if you think you're just going to hire somebody and they're going to do all the work and you just kick back and put your feet up, nope, don't even do it. Uh, it also says finish what you start, you know. You could be in the limelight, esoteric, something about the internet. This could be e-commerce, yeah, e e-commerce yeah um, you have come into a place of power where you make the rules the law well, yeah maybe in a home like setting or something that has to do with women again you know salon beauty cosmetics I don't know You also want to be the like a uh, superior choice, or um, this is luxury. This is cause to celebrate the completion of a successful project. You're going to get the green light and the go ahead. You're going to get that loan. Wow, as I say that, the Ten of Pentacles shows his face. Yeah. It talks about other people's money too, inheritance, loan, taxes, uh, things of those natures, the sale of property, other people's money, whereas it's really not your money. And this talks about the transference of wealth. So you're going from the Ten of Swords you know, to the Ten of Pentacles. So from tough times, uh, turbulent times, a trying time. A test or a trial in your life and then you're going to the other side of the will of fortune ten of pentacles you've you've had your time here you know it just wouldn't be fair if a person lived a life like this always you know um so now you can have you know your time as the ten of pentacles to store up do right with your money put it Put it where it grows. Yeah. Okay, so it just looks like another good reading for the Aquarius. We got people trying to resurface. We've got a particular person trying to come back and maybe even love bomb you. Um, we've got a delay, but that's okay. Feminine. All right, so the feminine... Energy, the feminine Aquarius is really coming up, and we see that with the high priestess. You're not high priestess energy, you're very attractive to people, compelling is what I heard. You have like a compelling energy about you. People look at you and they're trying to wonder what it is about you. You're really in your feminine. All right, somebody wants to be honest with you now, okay? Uh, yeah, somebody loves how you dress, fashionista. We saw that with maybe the Page of Cups also. Uh, somebody wants to be honest about maybe they were of two minds about being with you or they did love two people or they were in their two different relationships how they were unkind to you okay um what else what else is here for the Aquarius yeah I know they want to reconcile because they're bored with their options they they're complacent and they want to get out of that place they don't like the fact that maybe you kind of push them off to the side. Text me, don't call me. They now they're stuck on you. You know, they can't get over you. They can't get enough of you. This person is 
maybe trying to come out of some bad habits, lush, maybe drinking too much. They've grown some understanding that you just didn't take them serious. They came off too hard, too muscular, too strong. Or maybe they feel like you came on too strong and they just weren't ready for what it is you wanted. But now it looks like somebody wants to surprise you with a new life, new home, new car, new baby. Just a big surprise. This person was dating other people and that's why there was no growth in your relationship and they treated you unfair. But by next week, you could hear from them. Valentine's Day was significant for the two of you. Or maybe this 2023 Valentine's Day will be significant for the two of you. There has been weeks of no communication and this person can't deal with it. And they're a little bit angry, but they understand that this is just suspended. You guys are going to come back together. They could be mixed race. You could be mixed race. Um, something about mixed race. If not, then it's just somebody again. Uh, th they were of two minds. But now they come to some type of security, some type of truth in their mindset that possibly you make them happy. Okay. And they want to give to you. They want to take you out of that side chick forever role. But they also aren't showing you this either. That they love you. They're not showing you that they love you. Okay. They didn't show you that they loved you. They possibly were not warm to you. They were cold and cold. They told lies, big, fat lies. Yeah. So, um, looks like they want to come back. Yeah, they're in a place of depression. They can't get over you, stuck on you. They want a new start. Maybe around the next holiday. This talks about Easter. I don't know if you're in the States, if you celebrate. I don't know. This person isn't doing well. They were engaged in maybe sex only relationships or they were trying to keep your relationship in that way. But now they see you that you, they see you for what you're worth, your value, that's your high honor. And they want to date you again, date you correctly. They want to make you the main female, and then possibly maybe the wife. Yeah, they want to go into new, new. Oh yeah, I knew it was coming up. So they want to come in, go into um, a new way of existing and the relationship with you with pathway. Okay. They want something new to develop with these butterflies here. Let me see them. They want you to hear them out. Okay. Um, yeah, they could want you to be their partner. Uh, maybe they want to give you something too. They want a relationship with you. Yeah, definitely. A relationship is arriving for a number of you too. Yeah. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L or coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.